what is going on guys, it's your boy Sessor here, bringing you guys on a Photoshop tutorial, showing you guys a cool original effect I created, it's a very cool tearing, distortion, dissolving, uh, ripping effect, I'm not quite sure what I want to like pinpoint it on, but for whatever reason, if you have a cool name for it, comment it down below, I'll look at it and I'll change the name of it so it looks cooler or sounds cooler. Anyway, you can see the effect being here applied to this text. It looks very freaking cool, I'm not gonna lie. The S and the E themselves look like they're tearing or ripping apart. That's the kind of effect that I wanted. And um, for whatever reason, if you think it's only applied to text, it's it, it, it can be applied to anything. Like objects, shapes, like any like real world, like, you know, living beings or whatever. You wanna get like a cool distortion effect behind them or anything cool like that, which I'm gonna be showing in a little future my, my advertisement designing and stuff like that. So no matter what, you're gonna see this uh, effect pop up again. So I wanted to cool, uh, do a little cool solo uh, video on it because it's a little cool original effect. It's very simple, like a three step process. And I know it's very abstract as well, but as abstract as it is, it can look very good in a clean atmosphere, like a cool banner or something. So my current banner that I'm currently making right now, which will probably be done after this video, no matter what, it looks very good in the background or uh, for an accent, uh, for any kind of whatever you're doing it for, for an accent design or accent little thing, it looks very good. So you can see it here being applied to the back of my uh, Cisco HQ logo. You can see it there, the same effect that's being applied to over here is now behind there in a very cool original way. So no matter what, if you put your own variation on it, it looks really good no matter where you put it. So let's get going. It's a very simple effect, like I said. Cool, all right. So T and our keyboard for the text tool. Um, I'm using the font Move X. I'll put it in the description below just in case you want to download it. It's a very cool uh, font, I one of my favorites so far. So simply enough, like this. All right, and for, for whatever reason, the effect that we're gonna be using is called Stagger. It's in the Wind Filter selection, so Filter, Stylize, Wind, and you have to rationalize your layer, but it's a Wind, Blast, and Stagger effect. The Stagger effect, I'm not quite sure about the Wind and Blast, but the Stagger effect itself is affected by whatever color you choose. I have black, I'm gonna use the same, I'm gonna use black for now. I like the effect that black, when I apply this layer, or this uh, filter to black looks really good, but if it was white or something or uh, a different color or whatever, whatever color you choose, it might be a different um, effect being applied to it. I'm not quite sure if it's because of, uh, the pixels are being pushed better with darker colors or whatever it may be, but just try different colors as well. So let that be known. You can choose different colors to get a different effect. So, okay, black is what we're gonna be using. So once you have your text all done, you have to rasterize the layer, of course, like I said before, right click, rasterize type. And then to duplicate the layer, just simply enough, press Control J, and we're gonna, have, we're, gonna, we're gonna need two layers, of course. So we're just gonna hide the first layer, and we're gonna go to the second layer below it. And like I said, we're gonna go to Filter, Stylize, Wind. Um, if you guys never used this before, I've showed this before how to use uh, how to make some very cool like texture brushes or textures themselves. Uh, this is effect. This effect right here, this filter is very cool to use that to make those kind of things. I've used it enough, enough for my brushes as well. But if you know, if you don't know, wind it gives you a really cool like little distortion effect where it's kind of like the wind is pushing a letter, and then blast is basically more of a, a higher tier of wind where it just like disintegrates it more. But stagger is a very cool tearing effect that you get when you apply it. So it looks very good and like, I don't know, I really do enjoy this effect. But of course, you can see here, you can choose the direction from left to right or left or left to right, you know, yeah, okay. Anyway, you can choose the direction. I'm just gonna keep it from right to left. So we'll press okay. And uh, every time you do this, since the, uh, the pixels are not disappearing when you apply this effect, they're being pushed to whatever direction you chose to. So no matter what, you're gonna have a very like, weird shape to the left or right for whatever reason so what you want to do is either delete it uh, or you erase it or select it with your magic wand tool and then you can delete it that way it's a uh, very simple it's, it's gonna be very easy to select as well because I, like I said all the pixels are being pushed to one side so just delete that and once you've done that it'll be all clear for you to rotate and such without any problems or getting some weird like if you move it and if you get to erase it you're gonna have like a weird effect to the left of it or to the right of it which is just pointless so make sure you guys delete it and once we've done that, we can go back to our top layer, make it visible again, and match them up like so. And then once you gotta do, all you gotta do is just basically hold control and select the bottom layer's thumbnail, which is gonna select the selection of the layer. So it's gonna select everything that's on that layer. You can see that there, it's being applied. It's, gonna be, it's selecting the stagger effect right now. All we had to do is go to filter, uh, select, Modify and if you have no, if you have no clue what expand and contrast is basically it modifies the selection expand of course expands to how many pixels you want and then the contrast 
uh, just shrinks it or decreases it or, you know, by whatever pixels you chose. So I'm going to use expand by one pixel. And we're going to go to the top layer right now and just press delete on our keyboard like so. I'm going to do it three times or so for because if you, if you guys don't know, a selection is kind of like a feathered selection. So you have to delete it a couple times so it is, it's clear, it's clean. So just make sure you know that. And then control D to deselect. And then you can see the effect is now applied and looks freaking cool. And also, um... You can get a cool little 3D or an extrude look to your letters if you like. You know, I move the the stagger effect to the to the right more. You can see because now it's cut out and you can see kind of like a little you know a weird extrude to the S here. You can do it on purpose. You can do it on accident. I did it on accident. I was like, hey, that looks like a more extrude uh, or a 3D layer to it. So it looks very cool if you want to apply that in that situation. But for now, that's what I'm doing. And there, there's the effect itself, but also to get this little cool little simple uh, distortion to the, like, where like, it's kind of like wrapping or like a ripple effect right going on right now. It's basically the liquify. So simply enough, let's just hide this again and open this. And we're going to simply enough press control and select them both with control and then press control E to merge them together. And we're going to go to filter, liquify, and then use the bloat tool. And to select my, I have my brush size at 750 and my density at 100 and my brush rate at 100. I'm going to select a little bit uh, to the left of this S and then just give it the effect where it looks like the S is being like, you know, uh, just like peeled off of the E or something. So something like that look all right. And then a little bloat over there, press OK. And then you get this really cool effect and you're going to have this little white trim of just like just the effect of being applied and the pixels are basically expanding too far. Simply enough, double click on this, choose your color, and I'll just keep it white for now. It looks cool. Um, as well, if you guys did not know, uh, when you're, this is the effect that's done, that's over with. But for whatever reason, if you guys want to do a, like a cool neon or out like out, uh, how do you call it? Like an outline of whatever you're doing. If you hold Control on this again, like hold Control and select the thumbnail again, and select the layer, go to uh, select modify and contrast or contract I was I saying contrast it's contract and then contract it by two pixels press ok and if I just press delete on the same layer you can get a very cool neon or outline glow to the uh, the whatever object or layer you chose it on and did this effect on and it looks really cool as well if I just put this on overlay on a very nice cool background uh, rasterize it it looks very good um, like I said, you can do this stuff for like advertisement stuff or just simple distortion effects or for whatever reason, I believe this looks really freaking cool. So I want to show you guys to you. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like. Like I said, 200 likes on this video. You can see it down below. Uh, make sure you guys comment down any other toys you want to see me do. Um, please check out my Selfie, Selfie.com, SysWHQ for any pre mades and packs for as low as like $5. Also, follow me on Twitter, at SysWHQ. All these updates and stuff. Ask me any questions if you need them or just comment them down below. I'll be sure to answer them as much as I can. So, like I said, thank you guys so much. And do you, how, what's your opinion on my banner right now? What do you think? What do you think? The color scheme? Do you like it? The What, what do you think? I think it looks pretty good. So, thank you guys so much. Talk to you guys later. SysWHQ out. Peace.